Welcome to the Crazy Town Podcast. I'm Jonas. And I'm TNT Don. I might the explosive one. Let's crack into another one. TNT. Yo. Have you ever uh, been in a fisticuffs at like a house party? You ever, or have you ever seen a house party like things unravel and people get into a fight? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. You know, like, it's never a good idea when people get into a fight at just like some random event. Because, mm-hmm. you know, some, well, most of the time, I think people have the general mindset that, like, if a fight starts, a few hits are going to happen, and then, like, it's going to be over. Yeah, I was just going to say, it's like most fights that you see at, like, a party, or the, they're pretty tame. Right. Most. Right. Most. Right. But, you know. Oh, side note, did you see the one, the story about the girl, and I think it was in St. Louis, where the, the girl, like, was, like, bashing her head into the into the pavement and like she was in a coma and stuff did you see that no and she fi- she finally woke up so there was a fight and the the video showed the girl like get on t- she hit her and she fell and she got on top of her and was like banging her head into the sidewalk and uh yeah, you can't do that and, no and uh she went into a coma obviously attempted I mean, murder and she, and she woke up mm-hmm. but she's like they're like her cognitive abilities are all jacked up so who knows where she probably yeah. i would imagine she has brain damage like yeah good job attempted murder right, right. you got a felony so now. but she did wake up there was she was in a coma they didn't know if she was gonna wake up for a long time so anywho so this this happened in arizona so this i guess there was like a nerdy kid there i don't know why they ended up getting to the fight but there was like this like uh he was 16 and there was a group of kids there a couple of them i think were over 18 but they ended up beating the shit out of him to the point that he died mm. like and mm-hmm. then and then afterwards this happened and, like lot. the kid was like a picture of the kid he just looks like a smirky ass like jock douche like they have like the snapchat text of him and like his friends after they left like texting each other like mm-hmm. bro i was just too strong for him like da 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 like ta- just talking shit like that mm-hmm. well and then um and then they come to find out like his parents are like well off so like the police gave his parents an escort like one time like and i mean but all these kids are facing like murder charges like yeah. and i hope yeah. they go to jail for a very long time especially because they were very like flippant about like murdering someone at a party so <sighs> like he was like hammer fisting and like at the party i'm like who the hell does not stop that yeah yeah uh bro i mean look we we me and you, we, we've seen a different time where bullying was kind of like one of those things you turned a blind eye to. Yeah, like, I mean, I saw people get picked on. Uh-huh. Nobody, like, egregiously, probably. <laughs> um, I mean, <laughs> probably. I don't, th- I mean, I mean, I'm sure if I thought about it long enough, maybe. Uh-huh. But it wasn't like, I didn't know anyone who was a bully that constantly picked on the same kid. Or, like, you know, some, there's, like, a group of kids that you're like, he's an asshole. He always picks on Timmy. You know what I mean? But, like, I don't think I knew of anyone like that. Did you? Did you know of someone who was constantly bullied? I've seen, I've seen some stuff. I've seen some things in my life. Yeah. Yeah. Was there anybody at our school? That you knew that that was happening? No. Uh, mm, I mean, it's, it's like, okay, so when I think of, uh, I don't know. I feel like Mitch. Got picked on? I like, feel you, like you it. Bull- I mean, I don't guess I don't know. Yeah. I feel like it. Maybe. I feel like it. Um, Maybe not to the point where, like, you know, he was, like, going to come with a gun to school or anything, but... It, okay. it could have led to that if, if uh, you know, if he decided to re- react a little bit differently. I guess I just want I just want to never depart from the fact. It's well, like, and that shit didn't happen until we were out of school, basically. Like that 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 like bring a gun to school shit yeah. was, was something that happened, like right before we were out of school. So it wasn't even really a thought before. Sure, I mean, but you know, it it could have it could have started anywhere. Yeah, I guess my whole thing is like. You never really know how a person is going to react because you could say, you know, good morning to somebody and they could have the exact opposite reaction of what you expect that was so good about it. Hey, buddy, what's the problem? You know? <laughs> yeah, you're like, oh, yo, bro, I'm just chilling. Yeah. So you could never tell how a person is going to react. And if wrong. you're treating somebody that way or you're hitting them or you're bullying and you're making fun of, you never know how they're going to retaliate. So, 
I don't know. It's just it's 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 good to see that schools are taking a, a stronger stance on it, and that we, we we trying to get that out of the culture. But is I don't really see it going anywhere, man. Kids are yeah. kind of ruthless. Well, the thing that kind of weirds me out now, and like I was just talking about, like that girl was getting her head pounded on the sidewalk, and this kid, people are more apt nowadays to stop and record it than they are to stop it from happening. Like, they'll stand there and watch someone get beaten to death and record it mm-hmm. before they, like, try to make it stop or call the police. And that is the wildest shit ever. So, how much of that do you credit to, like, your standard bystander effect of... Um, somebody's going to call? Somebody's going to stop it, right? Why do I? Why do I have to be the one to stop it? Somebody's going to stop it. And how much of that do you credit to the whole idea of everybody just wants to go viral, you know? Uh, I mean, I think it's... Because it's definitely a little bit of both, but I don't know if things necessarily would have been too much different if uh, if we, p- people didn't have, like, video cameras on their cell phones. I'm just saying. I mean, there's a ton of people getting the shit beat out of them without getting recorded, too. I mean, look, the entire Rodney King thing was videotaped. <laughs> Nobody stopped that. And that was before we had cell phone cameras. Yeah. That was before TikTok. Yeah. That yeah. was before YouTube, you know? Someone just happened to be recording the riots and caught some shit on film. Yeah. yeah. Nobody thought to stop that. I don't know. I don't know, man. I mean, you ain't wrong. I mean, it's just it's just interesting, dude. I couldn't imagine just, like, watching a fight and like to the point where like you know the guy is not gonna come back like not not gonna defend himself and you're just like watching someone just pummel them and like just not doing anything it's insane like no one doing anything bro the thing is man you gotta be the strong one i'm telling you right now call the arms dynamite calling you the arms man you gotta be the one you gotta be the one to make a difference Gotta yeah, be the one to stop that. You want to see in the world? Yeah, man. yeah. I look. I want to see a fight just as much as anybody else, and I do. But you know, when I it's over, it's over. Fights. What? I don't like watching fights. You don't like watching like boxing? I mean, I'll watch like you, regulated you, fighting. UFC. You don't just like, like it? But like, just people like in a bar or in the street or something, man. Like that. Oof. That's what? a little weird. Is I, it too I, real? I, I don't know, man. What it's is just it? Like, what is it? I don't know what it is. It's just like it's like people used to watch those bum fights videos. I don't want to watch that, man. Like, it's like I, it's like, I want to see the fight, but I want it to stop when it needs to stop. I don't know if it's like, do take a knee. It's the over. depravity of it, or like what? Like it's just like it's just like, it's like why does it got to come to that? <laughs> Like, it just, like, I don't know, dude. Like, I don't know what Can't it is. Can't we all just get along? Can't we all just get along, man? Nah, like, I, I have nah. never been mad enough to want to fight anybody. Uh, yeah, okay. I just don't get mad, dude. Like, I mean, sure. Maybe I just disassociate so much it doesn't matter. I'm, I'm not going to lie, Jonas. I'm, I would I love to see a good bar fight, but it, when it needs to stop, it needs to stop, you know? And that's the problem is that it... You got somebody's got to stop it. Well, and it's a fine line between like that and it like escalating and like more people getting involved. Like mm-hmm. it's a fine line between uh, just like going home and waking up the next morning or catching a felony because you hit somebody, you knock them out, they fall to the ground, they hit their head. That's the yeah. thing you got to watch out yeah. for. Yeah, well, it was like I mean, I guess like the. The, the, I mean, I've told the story before where I saw somebody get a pool stick broken over them, like over a shoulder. Like when that popped off, it was a small bar and there was like 10 people. Mm-hmm. And like it, it, I mean, like shit, es- obviously do got a, a, a pool cue broken over his back. So it escalated very fast. Yeah, It mm-hmm. went from like, what, what the F, what are you doing? Some words to like swings and run in chair throw. Yeah. Pool. And it was like, we were just in the bar like. What the fuck is happening? I love it. You know, and it's like, but it can escalate. And nowadays, it feels like everybody's got a goddamn gun. So it's like, uh, shit pops up. Who's going to pull out a goddamn gun and start shooting you everywhere? You never know. You never know. Dude, it's, it's insane. You never um, know. Everybody's you know, I'm not somebody em. who worries about that kind of thing. Like, I don't worry about it happening. But I've been in a situation where it's happened, and it could have escalated a lot further, a lot quicker, a lot faster. So it's like, it is a random act, but it can happen any day. Yeah, 
I mean, anytime you go out to the bar, something could happen. Like, yeah. especially like in a big ass city like Austin. People yeah. get shot downtown, dude, by the cops. Hey, look, I'll let you know. Don't press me. I'm fighting in the bar. Let's go. Yeah, you almost fought a guy someday one day because he was <laughs> trying to choke me out. I did, man. It got me, got me a little he was, heated. He was a little too friendly. Yeah, <laughs> and I'm not, I'm not a fighter. That's that's 100. percent I haven't been in a fight in years. All right, it's been years. Yeah, so, but anywho, rest in peace, that poor kid who was just trying to like go to the goddamn party and help these other dudes rot in prison yeah. forever. Yep. Stop. Stop being a jerk. Exactly. Don't stop be being jerk. jerks. So. All right, that's all the time we have for this episode. Please go to thecrazytown.com and subscribe for Jonas. TNT. Uh, we're out.